We're the Harrison Twins, and this is how far we've come. Right guys, we want to come on to YouTube and actually explain a bit of like people that have just obviously came, come to the channel, who are new to the channel and explain like who are we, you know, who are the Harrison twins, what struggles and stuff we've actually been through to get to the place we are now, you know, so like obviously featuring on the front cover of Muscle and Fitness and traveling the world as, as fitness models and you know, how did we get from being who we were six, seven years ago, which was what, just newcomers onto the scene. Yeah, around what, 19? Yeah, around 19, yeah, 20, 19 to old. where we are now today. So obviously there has been, been a lot of struggles which we haven't documented or talked about really. So we thought, you know what? Let's talk about it. it. Let's talk about it in this video. Let's talk about it. Uh, who are we? So obviously I'm Owen Harrison, it's Lewis Harrison. We come from a small town in the north of England called Kendall. Shit's old. <laughs> not a joke, a joke. Nah, it's, it's an alright place, there's not much going on, you know, so. We always knew we were wanting to get do, out of Kendall. Yeah, get out of Kendall, do bigger, better things with our life. And do you know what, from a young age, um, I always wanted to become a fitness model. No joke, that's what I actually wanted to do. I remember. Well, from about 19. Yeah, from about 19, you know, I was, I was like, I want to become a fitness model. That's what I wanted to do. We love going to gym, pulling birds, so. <laughs> and, um, so yeah, we come from a small town. Uh, I joined the Marines at around, I left school at 16. I joined the Marines, uh, probably just 17 years old. Uh, 16, 17, probably just turned 17. Uh, joined the Royal, Royal Marines, which is the hardest military course in the world. Going from civilian to fully operational combat soldier, uh, it is the hardest military course in the world. It's eight months long. It was absolutely fucking disgusting. Uh, it was the worst training I've ever done. Eight, eight months long of hell, sleep deprivation. Um, to put it into context, the last commando test you do is 31 mile run with 35 pounds of kit and fully loaded rifle. Uh, we set off at four o'clock, 4 a.m. in the morning to do that and we had to complete it under eight hours. Over rough terrain, boots, combat gear, everything. I mean, rough terrain is in like real rough terrain, hills and all that shit. Hills, tracks, mud, gauze, shit, gauze, gauze, which is like a horrible, horrible bush, which with thorns on it. It's just a pointless bush. <laughs> the shit <laughs> never, Never existed. Never been able to like. God should never grow. Of course. But anyway, so that was, you know, my first thing I did in life, which was obviously the Marine Corps, um, which all came to an abrupt end uh, when I was about 20, 21. Uh, now I haven't really gone into this on video. Uh, a lot of people ask me on Instagram about like, why did you leave the core? I didn't actually leave the core, all right? So I'm just gonna put this out there. I never I never talked about this before on YouTube or Instagram or anything or any social platform. I was actually kicked out of the Royal Marines. I was kicked out of the Royal Marines at 20, 21 years old um, for a nasty scrap. <laughs> a fight I actually got into uh, when I was about 20, 21. I've said start a fight or anything like that. Um, but at the time, obviously, the government spent a quarter of a million pounds training me up to, well, you know, kill motherfuckers. <laughs> um, so it was in a bar. It was in a bar. Uh, Lewis was there, actually. Uh, I was. 
I was, a, I was arrested and took a year for it to go to trial and actually pleaded guilty. Um, I was looking for seven years in jail. Seven years of my life in jail. And I was like, wow, what the hell has happened here? Um, actually, it was the only case in 16 years not to get a custodial sentence. Um, which, you know, thank the Lord that I didn't go to jail and stuff. And also the judge on the day uh, actually said, quite, you know, he was lenient and um, I ended up getting a 12 month suspended sentence, two and a half thousand pound fine, which was paid by the Royal Marines and uh, 120 hours community service. So this was at 20. So as you can see, my, my when I was younger, when I was 14, that's all I wanted to do was become a Royal Marine. Uh, I knew at 14 I wanted to be, have a career in the Royal Marines. I knew I wanted to be a Royal Marines commander. I wanted the Greenberry and that's all I wanted. So I got it, and then when that came to an end, I was like, wow. After that, after that whole ordeal, you know, when I was looking at seven years in jail, um, kind of opened my eyes a lot to, you know, actually clean up my act. Because when I was, when I was younger, I was actually a lot of trouble with the law as well. Um, from 16 to 20, I was in a lot of trouble with the law, which I don't really touch on on, on social because I, I, don't, I think it's the past and I, don't, I haven't really gone into it. So I just thought I'd go into it on this video and really talk about, you know, the struggles that I've actually have been through before all this happened, you know? So after I came out of the Corps, well, I came out of the Corps after the Royal Navy kicked me out. The Royal Navy kicked me out of the Corps, okay? Because their, their officers outrank the Royal Marine officers. Um, so yeah, it was their decision to make uh, an example out of me, which they did. Uh, after that, I was unemployed for two years, about two years. So I was like, kicked out when I was 20, I was about unemployed for two years. I was in that jobs, in that laboring jobs, on building sites, etc. Shit I did not want to do, shit I hated. I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to do this. Um, after that, do you want to touch on what you were doing before? Right, so when Owen was in, Week 32 of the Royal Marines, I was in about week six, seven. Um, I got to week 22, um, fractured my foot. So I had to go on a little bit of sick leave, come back to Hunter, Hunter Squad, Hunter, Hunter Company, and obviously they just thrash you till uh, you get your fitness back up. After a while, I went back into training, got to week 26, and then I thought, is this actually for me? You know, I was, you know, getting paid 12, 1300 pound to get called a wanker every day. And um, it just wasn't, you know, what I really wanted to do in life, what I really wanted to achieve. So obviously when I got thrown out, I left, came out, and then we were both in a bit of a rut. And then I was working on a building site for, you know, a long time after that. And I thought, you know what? Fitness is where I want to be. And obviously I always enjoyed fitness, I always enjoyed sports as a kid. Uh, football, I was at football academies when I was younger. Um, I was actually a pro at Markham as well. So it was one of them where we thought, well, where can we, where can we take this? And um, we did our first photo shoot actually when we were 21. 21, first photo shoot. Shout out to Justin Taylor. And we did a YouTube video. First YouTube video on his channel, that probably reached about 1 million. Over one million, yeah, one over a million, one point three million now. So yeah, after that whole ordeal, where I was a criminal, and can I just point out, obviously, I'm proud of all that shit that went on. Not whatsoever, you know, that was just something that happened in life. Uh, not proud of it um, at all. So yeah, but then things moved on. Uh, we did the photo shoot. We then got approached by Muslim Fitness Magazine. We did our first cover, not cover, our first spread, double page spread within Muslim Fitness. And then it kind of took off there. So after all that had happened guys, uh, we did a shoot at, when we were 21 years old with Justin Taylor. We did a YouTube video as well. We reached something like 1.3 million views or something now. That kind of broke us in 
to like the fitness industry at the time. After that, you know, we're approached by Muscle Fitness. Muscle and Fitness to do to do a double page spread. We did a Muscle and Fitness uh, double page spread. That was our first time in the magazine, and I was like, "Wow, this is crazy!" I'm in a fucking magazine, and that's that. That was like, um, I thought that was big time. <laughs> I thought that was it, uh, but um, it wasn't. There was still a lot of work to do. And at the time, Instagram had just came out by that, uh, that time, wasn't it? When we were doing yeah, the shoot, yeah. I remember I was on Instagram. I'd probably about, I'd probably about two hundred followers at the time, something like three hundred followers at the time. Yeah. So guys, we've travelled all over the world with fitness, uh, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Ibiza, Vegas, G Vegas, Germany, Ohio, oh, Ohio, isn't the greatest place? <laughs> um, <laughs> Brazil. Where else have we been? Dubai, Dubai. Everything, everything Instagram has opened us up to, you know, it's crazy. So, yeah, our lives have gone from serious shit on like, you know, wow, I was throwing out the Marines to seven years later, you know, being on the front cover of Muscle Fitness, being in Canadian magazines, American magazines, American Flex magazine, Inside Fitness, uh, Canada, Canada, number one Canada. Uh, which is the number one fitness magazine in Canada. We travel, obviously travelled all over the world to expos, met all these people that now follow us, which is just mind blowing to me. It's crazy. It's like, wow, you know, like from being jobless to now travelling the world, travelling the world, getting paid to do it, living in a nice place, I drive a nice car. <laughs> I used to drive a Ford Fiesta. <laughs> I used to drive on them limited edition courses. <laughs> White black wheels though. Proper naughty. Yeah. 1.2. One time. I had the fittest burning candle as well. <laughs> and then one time. Lewis thought I'd fall asleep at the wheel one time and crash his car. Yeah, I just fell asleep at the wheel one time. On the motorway as well. Yeah, I was in the passenger seat. I was asleep but also in the passenger seat. That was, uh, yeah, it was dangerous. Yeah. But that was a great ride. Probably blame David McIntosh for that. Yeah. Um, obviously we were on a night out the night before. <laughs> But um, yeah, so it's crazy to see, well, when you look back at it, I think, wow, I was, you know, in a world of shit to now doing what we do. It's crazy to see how far the brand's come from back then to now is just uh, unbelievable, you know? So obviously we have our own training business as well on top of that, um, which, which is really well, which is doing right. Very well. If you guys, if you want to join our Facebook group and our online training programs, then it'll be the first link below. Obviously, hit us up if you want to come aboard with the team. We have over 200 clients right now, so. But yeah, it's and we really want to take that to new levels, new heights. So yeah, so a lot of people say, where, where do you see yourself in the next five to ten years? You know, I just running HarrisonTwins.com, expanding it, expanding the brand, keep growing. Uh, also, you know, we're getting into the speaking business as well, uh, as you can see from our last video, that was uh, our very first seminar where we had people from like Texas, Philadelphia, Denmark, all over the UK turn up to see us and uh, talk about, you know, who we are, where we come from, what we've done in, in the industry, uh, etc. So, but yeah, that is, um, you know, a little story on ourselves and obviously I want to touch base on why I was actually thrown out of the Marine Corps because I actually haven't talked about that uh, ever, you know, on social. I've always said that I left on my own accord, which I didn't, you know. Uh, the Royal Navy actually kicked me out at 19, 20 years old. The only career that I ever wanted was to be a Marine. But I look back on that now and think, wow, what a blessing in disguise. Um, I've had friends that have been, you know, blown up in Afghan. Some of them aren't here anymore. Some of them, obviously, some of them obviously uh, dead now, which is just, you know, that could have been me. Uh, thank the Lord it wasn't. And yeah, so when we look back, see how far the brand's come, it's crazy. Uh, so guys, just to touch on like, who inspired us to actually get into fitness. I think I have three main people. Um, one was of course Ziz. And if you don't like Ziz, 
you need to unsubscribe right now. <laughs> um, obviously, because just the way he was, and he just got festivals, and you know, we've been to lots of festivals as well, and he was just such a cool guy. Uh, Greg Plitt was another, uh, rest in peace, because Greg, Greg, I remember right. watching Greg on his YouTube videos like years ago. Top guy, like so motivated, so motivational. Honestly, like, I used to watch his video. His was his videos I used to watch all the time before I used to hit the gym, all the time. And then there's obviously like Jay Cutler was a big inspiration. Yeah, Jay well. Cutler as well. We had to have, had the chance to obviously work with Jay as well, which was like, which is cool. Oh, you know? Starstruck man, yeah. Starstruck. <laughs> Speaks me on Instagram now. Shouts to Jay. <laughs> But yeah, there are they were our inspirations growing up. Now we're a lot older and we're, we're still we're a lot more established in the industry. I start looking at people like Nick, Nick Sant is it Nick Santos? Nick yeah, Santos? like Nick, 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 who we've who we've met on a couple of times in Vegas, um, and, and my friend Mark Ormrod, who is a former Royal Marine, who was the first triple amputee. These guys never give up, you know. So like, I take motivation and inspiration from them two guys, you know, in the, in the industry today, like, John Skywalker is a huge motivation to me as well. <laughs> Skywalker is right. such a legend. But yeah, there, there, there are like, it, people who inspire us at the start and then, they still inspire us, you know, I still watch great yeah. clip videos to this day, I still watch his videos to this day, because it's yeah, funny, it's you know, funny. I love it. But also, like, People like Skywalker will keep you motivated as well because like he's obviously a good friend of ours and you know we're sometimes on the text and that I mean you know what he even says to me you're my inspiration bro <laughs> and I say back to him you know no homo though no homo <laughs> but yeah so they were they were our inspirations growing up into the industry and now today we obviously take inspiration from people that are still in the industry but like the people that are really like real. Yeah, the real guys. Right guys, we're the Harrison Twins, and that was just an insight into how far our brand has come, how, how far it's moved on from where we were in life to where we are now. Uh, and I hope you can take a little bit of inspiration from this video, okay? But uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.